All right, everyone. So we defeated that there bumblebees or bumblebee. Um, it was all right. You know, it was all right. It wasn't great, but you know what? We got lucky that the AI did nothing that time, and we pretty much got through them. But we did, this just did improve medical research. But let's do this one first. So improve medical research. As our overall situation improves, our researchers have access to more and more resources. We'll additionally need to think of practical technologies that will benefit both of our people and our forces. For a and a further enhanced medical technology will save the lives of many militia members and let our citizens enjoy longer as, more, as well as more fulfilling lives. Chemistry Lab Specialized chem labs provide with every available chemicals at our disposal and staff with trained personnel by having experience in fuel medical manufacturing should increase the cost of providing a variety of equipment to our troops such as medicine, explosive compounds, or flammable materials. The Big Book of Science we found a curious collection of books named The Big Book of Science, in remarkably good condition. They seemed to deal with anything from chemistry to electronics, but the most interesting addition, and the one found in the best state, was dealing with the internal design of a pre-war robotic household assistance. This could be put to good use, and scavenge Robco equipment. A pre-war company known under the name of Robco operated in the field of personal, personnel and military robotics before the bombs fell. Scavenging the regional centers and manufacturing plants should give us some insight into their design philosophy, and move our own mechanical units at the same time with streamlined designs. At this point, I don't think our divisions can really be beat. I mean, we're guarding against a river-ish sort of area, so some right We do have some planes as well, which is really nice. Um, here are the casualties so far: a thousand, two thousand, basically versus thirteen thousand. Pretty good. I mean, we're just there is a river right here, so that's why we're doing relatively a okay. As <clears throat> we're doing all right, so we just finished animal observation, which is great. Um, night stalker tactics. I'll be honest, militia is, is god awful. I hate using militia. I mean, with these upgrades, they're actually somewhat okay. And we are training a thing of actual offensive riders, which is just 18 combo with with anti-tank. But Jesus Christ, this is terrible. I hate using militia. You have to, if you ever use militia, you have to, have to, have to, have to, have to uh, get the uh, land auction for because it's it's just not fun. If you don't if you don't get them at least. So um, more focuses such as transportation vehicles. Multiple personal transportation vehicles are in use throughout our cities, and would be a shame not to put them to use. A general demand for design proposals, mechanical studies into these machines will give ideas to our own engineers, possibly yielding improved motorization or motorized designs for troops. Plan a wall. Further research into advanced outpost construction, as well as the streamlined design, both in integrating into the desert environment and sturdy enough to resist small arms, arms fire. Well, let's construct military outposts as a much faster rate to protect our territory. Finalize the defenses. The priorities of protection of the population and city center. As such, multiple intertweening or interweaving lines of defenses will be established on its outer perimeter. We cannot allow the enemy to break through to massacre our people and will never let them. Our stand will be done here, not one step back. Hamilton Warren, why not? Also, it was interesting seeing, um, I forget where I saw it. I think entrenchment. Uh, earlier, before even I went to war, I was hovering over this, and you can actually see if enemies have spies or intel on your own country, because it'll tell you how much of a malice or a negative modifier you have, because the enemy does have spies in your territory, uprooting your entrenchment um, with your soldiers. So, I thought that was quite interesting to see, so, if you didn't know that, and I'll show it to you some other time as well. Oh, hello. No, thank you. Please don't lose there, as we're doing quite well. Uh, Planet Wall, Big Book of Science, Transportation Vehicles first. Because while wasteland settlers arrive, word is spread of our expansion, and with it, more and more settlers arrive in the quest of a safe haven, or heaven, and a peaceful home. We can use more workers, and so we shall welcome them with open arms. Potato farmers? Uh, sure. Organizing a deeper farming system, relying on simple backyard gardens, will allow every family to feed themselves to a small extent, lessening the strain of our agricultural system and letting our population grow with their food supply. Brahmin herders. <coughs> Excuse me. Brahmin breeding and herding, learned from traders using them in their commercial combo, will give our population a sizable increase in food stock from both milk as well as the meat, which is enough to feed entire small villages for weeks. Using every part of the Brahmin recipes and practical application will increase it even further. Plan for the future? Um, I like the output, which is not bad. This going down here is still very important, though. Enforce trade laws, though. Enforce unfair trade laws, avoid common scams and unprofitable exchanges, let our factories benefit from more resources, at a decreased cost, which will be useful for general manufacturing and develop the roadways. Old world roadways can still be found everywhere in pitiful conditions, yet still serving as light trails and landmarks. While we build them, allowing even motorized transport to use them and, and considerably speeding up movements, be a commercial strategic. Well, would you look at that, everybody? We're still at war with the uh, Nordicon. But, at the same time, <clears throat> the Sisters of Steels have also declared war on us. So, basically, I'd use Constant Commands or we would have died by now. I just made sure the divisions moved, and yeah, at this point, we're attacking these guys. So, unfortunately. <clears throat> The ant, or the nation of the ant, is not super easy, and it's all right. It's definitely all right, as we're going to have to really defend here as much as possible. It's going to kind of suck, but whatever. Can you not get in there? What the heck? I do not understand. I don't understand that at all, but whatever. So we broke over the river, which is great. Uh, I don't remember trying to 
attack you guys, but whatever. Uh, I'll keep these guys from doing... Okay, let's, let's relax. Let's relax. Let's not do that. I don't mind you guys attacking here, but really, I mean, you guys should help attack right there, too. Bona vista. <clears throat> that should be alright. I hope we don't lose down here, because if we do, we're going to be really set back. Chimeran... Con what the heck is a Chimeran Consensus? Let's go with this one. Oh, I'll go with that anyways. Chimeran Consensus? Oh, the NCR's losing. 80s. New Vegas is taken out by the NCR. Nevada Protectorate. Oh, Thread. Oh, okay. New, New Reno. I say New Vegas, but no, it's New Reno. God dang it, guys. Hurry up. There's a lot of divisions down here. Um, I don't want to throw anyone out yet when they're not really ready. And manpower has been such a huge issue for us. I mean, we're still mobilizing more, but it's such a huge issue. It's not even funny. <clears throat> come on. Come on. They're out of manpower, aren't they? Here. Here's what we're going to do. Put the spy in here to help uproot a little bit more entrenchment as well. If they're still entrenched. So, like, it's been it's been nuts. This guy's level 8. Jesus Christ. I spent so much time off screen doing this. It's not even funny, man. Please, for the love of God, do not lose. Do not lose. Oh my God, just die. I hate using militia. On defense, they can be pretty good with a land auction. On offense, not so much. So... Oh my god. They're out of infantry equipment too. So, unfortunately, you will still probably do some comms commands here. But I did want to make you aware of what was going on.
everyone, here we are at with Ant, and uh, we're struggling. We're definitely struggling. Um, but let's go through all the focuses that have not done yet. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> we'll talk about it. Plan for the future. Looking towards the future, we'll need to get more and more factors to keep up with the demand of our people and government. As such, CAP's investments will be made into proper research into these matters, letting us be prepared for any eventuality. Local pride. As our investments bear fruit and the quality of life of the population increases, support begins to swell and pride is taken in from contributing to improving our community. Our citizens feel honored to help and are militia to protect. A soldier sincerely believing in the cause he fights for will only do so harder. <clears throat> uh, let's see, the town becomes a city. More and more people arrive from the surrounding communities or are born into our capital. We need to expand it even further to transform it from a simple town city into a city. Such a change will take efforts or you know effort, but our workers are more than ready to make them happen, and will benefit from further space as well as manufacturing capabilities from it. Develop the outer city. With the capital now being become a fine city, we can begin to look towards and outwards, uh, towards the less developed regions of the nation. Other cities need funding for development programs. We can finally give them the caps to begin construction, expand the markets. Expanding the economic opportunities offered to our populations with a small amount of privatization will yield better efficiency, and other citizens invest into better infrastructures as well as new technologies, labor treaties. Labor treaties dealing specifically with workplace safety and proper training procedures will allow us to staff our factories with less workers for the same efficiency, letting us crew more of them at the same time. Also lessen the rate of accident and thus disabled personnel, giving us a chance to recruit them instead into our military. Take in robed wanderers. Robed wanderers have been seeking refuge in our cities as of recently. While secretive and keeping to themselves most of the time, they began to open up as a big solid living standards of our cities. Surprisingly, knowledgeable in electronic engineering, they've already proposed some interesting solutions to the problems our research teams have faced, which only makes them more mysterious. Now, we can't do these two, but if you want to read these ones, please go ahead, because we haven't done overcharged ammo or uh, potato power, but it is what it is. <clears throat> We've also done um, fire, fire protection. Even though ad hoc firefighting is informed of the time to deal with domestic fires, we should dedicate time and caps towards forming specialized brigades that deal with this problem. Doing so will make our population feel safer in the face of larger industrial blazes and give us the ability to rapidly recover from strategic damage. Police protection. Our militia have worked tirelessly to secure cities and make our citizens feel safe. And they do an admirable job being well known locally in those treated and trusted. But as fires and seek to damage buildings behind the front lines, once foreign police units able to deal with them. Small town oh small arms training, interrogation tactics, and a room war for knowledge will make them deadly against anyone trying to hide. Medical protection. During the scavenging of Rockwell facilities, we have found an interesting experimental model of the so-called Mitsugutsi. Designed to both provide both advanced battlefield surgery and self-defense during medical operations, as designed can help us work toward both, both better medicine suited to the front line and improved robotic design. Construction protection. <clears throat> Establishing rebuilding protocols and constructing our infrastructure with redundant strong points will let us recover faster after structural damage and thus regain strategic mobility and manufacturing capabilities in a shorter amount of time. Uh, scavenging teams. Improved motorization means we can equip our scavenging teams with personal vehicles, letting them conduct their crucial activities much further than our population centers and amass more material and resources to bring back. Efforts should be made towards a full motorization as soon as possible to maximize their efforts. Vehicles of war. While lightly armored motorized units are a good and cheap way to increase the speed of our units, they lack protection. We cannot reasonably send such vehicles into frontline combat, research into armoring schemes, and improved suspension designs will let us create an armored transport, being able to stand small arms fire and provide support for troops and think tank. Even though we will make sure uh, our research team will never name any scientific endeavor ever again, such a punt hides investments and efforts towards developing tracked vehicles. Heavily armored and armed, they could turn the tide of a stalemate or form the centerpiece or center point of our defense systems. Now, I'll pause it here, and we've got some comments to go through as well, but I guess comments first. Someone says, oh my gosh, you're doing actually every nation in overall blues. Yeah, yeah, we're getting there. Um, someone says, uh, I respect your commitment to this. If it broke I sorrow, I can't wait to see what it does to you. Either way, looking forward to it. And someone says, this is a downfall of my, of my sanity. You betcha. But yeah, um, right now, this is driving me nuts, too, I guess. Because we can't break through with all these enforcers, which are 18 cabos, which is, you know, okay. With anti-tank. And those anti-tank are actually rocket launchers. And very, very buffed up militia. Well, I guess they're only 13 and a half combo with, which is why they're sucking so hard. Because I guess now, technically, we can afford to make them bigger. Um, what I don't like is that there's still 5 army XP after getting all those buffs. I guess it makes sense, but still do that you know let's try it again let's hold first let's get our guys in there we might need a little bit more supply we got some advanced weaponry because of the decision we had earlier um there. can't really put supply here which sucks so yeah um there, there. There. do that get everything in here and we let the militia lead maybe maybe we can actually break through then <clears throat> I always forgot about that. 16 and a half combat width. So even though it's only three divisions there, we are struggling mightily, mightily, mightily. And we should have air superiority as well. 
with 227 planes doing an okay amount of damage. Not a great amount of damage, but, you know, okay amount. We're still struggling trying to fight three special forces divisions, which is, like I said, driving me nuts. But it is what it is. And, yeah. Dust in the wind. Oh, whoops. I forgot about the contact. We lost. But, yeah. I mean, even with this land doctrine, it's, it's all right. It's not great. It has its slight purposes, but I would never, ever choose this doctrine. If anything, you should just go Ancient Tactics. Because the entire army gets more organization, the entire army gets more breakthrough, infantry gets more stuff. Um, yeah, I just, I personally prefer this one. Even more breakthrough after that, more max entrenchment, way more HP. Organization loss goes way down, experience soldiers loss goes like, way down. So, like, <clears throat> in some certain cases, I suppose this part of the land auction does have its uses. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, it's just not very good. And I don't use militia. Just do not use militia. I mean, honestly, you're role-playing. Don't use militia, but Steven, we even now we're struggling against trying to fight these guys up to here. So, even when these guys are actually at war with Danny Rock. But I think that's pretty much going to be it for us. I, this was kind of an experiment to see what we could do with the land, with uh, the Jiranoi Focus Tree. See about this land auction that I've never used, and for good reason why we never use it. Also, did core most of this stuff too. But um, yeah, unfortunately, that is what it's going to be. If you enjoyed this small little campaign, though, leave a like, subscribe if you do. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great. Rest of your day.